One-Eyed Jack to his inside is fifth. Third straight has come out six. King Tootpan Common has gotten away seventh. And Bolero Tuscan at the back of the pack trails the field. And Christopher Root grabs a hold of a headstrong Mats Waller. He left the gate hard, and now he's tapping the brakes with him. Royal Majesty is right there on his helmet in second. Opening quarter was in 27 and 2. Yankee Sensation behind the top pair third. Western Maverick two lengths further back in fourth. And then a gap of some four lengths to Mr. One-Eyed Jack, who races in fifth. Third straight is gap back off the hot pace six. King Tooth Pan Common also gapped in seventh. And Bolero Tuscan rounds out the field. Their straight alignment and Matt Swaller is up in the rigging today. Christopher is still with a solid hold of him. Royal Majesty getting that good pocket trip as they hit the half in 54 and 54 and 4. Yankee Sensation right there third. Western Maverick has moved up fourth. These four have broken away from the rest so far, although third straight is making some progress up in the fifth position. King Tooth Pan Common using his cover, and Paver is going to take a shot with Yankee Sensation, and he flushed Royal Majesty out of the pocket. So Luke and Royal Majesty trying to get around Matt Swaller, and uh, racing in fourth right now, Western Maverick. He's forced into a three-wide move as they hit three-quarters in 123 and four. Matt Swaller is still in front. Royal Majesty is right at his throat on the outside, and Royal Majesty is taking the lead in mid-stretch. Yankee Sensation third, Western Maverick on the outside, third straight is racing in fifth. Royal Majesty not really paying attention, just looking around with his ears pricked. Yankee Sensation trying to get to him on the inside, but it's Royal Majesty, and Royal Majesty probably could have gone more. He wins it easily in one fifty-two and one. Yankee Sensation second, Western Maverick third, and third straight finished fourth. Time during the Grand Circuit Fall Session here at the Red Mile, number three, Royal Majesty. A Matt Scooter Colt out of Lady Hathaway by No Nukes, all by the Peretti Farms, Rizzo and the Sampson Street Stables, trained by Tom Artandi, and Luke Pallette picks up his 14th winner this fall at the Red Mile. Royal Majesty bred in New Jersey by co-owner Bill Peretti, and he has just picked up his third season's win, second Grand Circuit Triumph, and he wins this one easily at 152 and one fifth. Royal Majesty taking the second division of the International Stallion Stakes, sponsored by the Winback Farms, with the great purse money, thanks to the slots in the state of Delaware. Winback Farms standing some exciting young stallions. Badlands Hanover, who's the world record holder, for two-year-olds in a mile race that of course sets at Colonial Downs on the one turn mile. Also the trotter CR Commando and Walton Hanover stands at the Winbacks Delaware Farm as well. Winback Farms, the sponsors of the International Stallion Stakes for the Thompson family and Joe Thompson, one of the owners and directors here at the Red Mile. Results have now been posted official. Bruce Kennedy to make the trophy presentation. Results official.